Daisy Vibe TV. I'm Viviana Saltzman. Welcome back, Daisy Vibe viewers. It's been a long time. You're here with your very own host, Daisy Vibe TV, and I'm standing here with Viviani Saltzman. Does that name ring a bell? It should. Deepa Mehta's daughter. Can you believe it? I grab her inside one of these rooms because we're here at the Fifth Element with this beautiful young aspiring author, writer, journalist. I, I don't know. It's just a whole bunch of things all wrapped up in one. First off, again, how are you this evening? I'm having fun. It's Diwali. Congratulations. Happy Diwali to you and to all of our viewers. Happy Thank Diwali you. and Eid Mubarak to everyone. So, Diwani, it's, uh, I know it's just the weather's chilly, but uh, I want to get really down to it and just understand you're everywhere. You're a writer for the Globe and Mail. Um, I freelance. I've written for the Globe. I'm writing for the Walrus Magazine. And uh, Marie Claire just launched in India. I just did a piece for them. Um, yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Again, we talk a little bit about the, you're, you're the prodigy. You're a child. Of, you're, you're, you're living under the name of Viva Medva. Now with the name I'll tell like you that. What, it, I, I guess the good thing is um, she's a filmmaker and I'm a writer and we work in different mediums and we love each other's mediums. So the beauty is, when she works on her films, I get to share that with her, and when I work on books, she gets to share that with me. So it's, it's quite it's quite lovely, actually. It's unbelievable. And now with the movie Water, proclaimed movie Water, um, a blockbuster hit. I just remember just dating back a couple months back in March of 2006. I was here just at the Mavis and Eglinton location with Deepa Mehta and Lisa Ray, the director and the leading actress, uh, who were promoting the movie the Blockbuster Water. And they also had a trilogy, like Water, Fire, and Earth. And there was a frenzy here in Mississauga, let me tell you oh something. <laughs> but I just, as you can see, the physical characteristics and the beautiful personality you take on. Do I really a lot resemble of your her? That's yeah, just I, I can see you in the crowd. And I just want to say, being being the daughter of such a prominent director. Now, what hardships did you did you have to go through? Well, I, I guess my first book, Shooting Water, came out last year, and it just came out with Penguin in India. And uh, I feel really fortunate to to be out with a memoir. But at the same time. You know, having having uh, my mom's uh, reputation is something wonderful to live up to, but I also have to prove myself all that more. And luckily I feel um, Shooting Water's done well, so it's 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 led me on to uh, write for an anthology of new Toronto writing and work on a, a second novel. So what are your next projects? Now, I know that when you collaborate efforts with your mother, and um, I understand there's a little bit of triumph and trauma, but the end result was unbelievable. Yeah, the, I guess when you had to do that, absolutely. I was on the set in, in India uh, in Varanasi in 1999, and then in Sri Lanka in Colombo in 2004. And that's a that's the backbone of, of the memoir shooting water. But it, it was a long journey, but it was successful, and we're really happy. No, it's unbelievable, and we just welcomed it with open arms. And I just must say that the international and meeting John Abraham most recently at the Toronto International Film Festival, it just pieced everything together. This is a wonderful, wonderful surprise. Absolutely. And I understand you're situated here in Toronto. So, what new angles are you taking in your career? Uh, I am. I, I write about a lot of things, and not only India. My own background is I'm uh, my father is Jewish. He's from Toronto. My mother's obviously Punjabi. Um, I'm reading in DC next week with uh, Kieran Desai at the South Asian Literary Festival at the Smithsonian. So um, I'm continuing to write and work, and uh, I enjoy it very much. Well, that's wonderful. You've also attended one of the most prestigious universities, and every parent's dream. My daughter, my daughter, my son. I hope they grow up to be doctors and dentists. Yes, yeah, so you I, yourself. I went to Oxford to study social anthropology, so I didn't end up at the doctor. Or I know. I think you did because I went to Ryerson. So, anyways, very nice to chat with you. Yes, no, it's an honor, and uh, you know we'd love to see you again. And uh, you never know. What, what do you think you might get, uh, once again collaborate with that? Uh, I hope. Miss you by that. I, I hope to collaborate with uh, my mom, but at the moment, uh, writing is my thing. So well, I wish you. We wish you on behalf of Daisy Vibe TV and DaisyVibe.ca the best of luck. We have many fans out there, and we congratulate you on your happiness. You know. Thank, thank you. you. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali to you. Thank you so much, Diwali.